Hey, Kylie Gray here with an episode of City Skylines. For those who do not know, in this game you build a city and watch it thrive. But knowing me, I know that's not going to be the case. I surprisingly got this game back when it was on sale during the Steam Summer Sale, but actually never played it. But now I am, and I'm ready to make people suffer. Uh, I mean, uh, live prosperously in uncharted land. Yeah, let's go with that. But without further ado, let's start the video. So, this is actually my second time trying to record this. The first time I just flat out didn't work. It is some bug or something. So, uh, I think I'm just gonna do two rivers this time. I think last time I did Blackwoods, but I don't remember for sure. I'll just do two rivers. I guess it's the bottom one. Anyway, uh, C name, huh? I think, I think I'm just gonna think about this for a second. Yeah, I'm going with Kyleopolis, because I wasn't prideful enough. A left handed traffic. Since I'm not barbaric, I drive on the right side of the road. So left hand off. Start. Yeah, this actually takes a long time to load, so I'll, I'll be back. One eternity later. Okay, so here's my start. That's a big river. So now I know basic controls, which would definitely help me out. When I first played, I didn't know what controls at all, so uh, start by doing that. I want to do that so I get the one-way roads, which are actually very helpful roads to have. So I think I will put a roundabout in, because roundabouts are still very helpful in this game, if you didn't know. Okay, so I want the roundabout just for the fact that it's, you know, it's a much faster way than a regular intersection. In real life, I hate roundabouts, but uh, in this game, it's alright. So I'll do that for now. Uh, what I will do is... Maybe something like this. Wait, first of all, I'll have to do uh, this for now. Oh. That's just to make sure that it maintains its structure when I uh, connect with this. The reason why the recording sort of messed up the first time is the roads actually weren't working. And if you have a city and your roads don't work, you're going to have a problem. So. Let's try to figure this out the smartest way possible, because obviously I want to limit traffic. Obviously, traffic is bad. So going out of the city... I want something like this, I guess. Obviously that will just lead traffic out of the city. But going into the city, I want two ways to do it. One will be entering right through here. And one will be a detour. That will bring you to the village, city I guess, that city will be over here most likely, and industry will be up here. But I'm still thinking this through. Because, if I, uh, my industry up here then, um, they'll have a clean shot into the village, or city I guess you call it, and then out? Yeah, here probably should just be a two lane road. Yeah, because they won't be able to get out otherwise. And normally, if then if you're a civilian, you would avoid the roundabout altogether. And then over here would then be the... I guess over here will be where the people live. In this nice Kyleopolis city. Um, and I guess I can get rid of some roads in the center now. Okay, so now people are living down here, but how do I do that, you may ask? Well, first I actually need power. Because <laughs> people like power, who knew? And I'll probably just have a coal plant, because it's probably the easiest to actually use. I just need to know it's pollution radius. It's rather big, but it's not bad. It also creates noise. And people don't like living by noisy places. So, let's go back to roads, and uh, right there. Okay, now that I got power... I'll try to build residential places. Again, I haven't really built a city yet in this game, so I don't know how it's going to work. I need water too, but uh, I think one thing at a time. Oh, that's not right. Here. So this is actually an indicator to go 10. If you make 10 by 10 blocks, it actually works rather well. Look at that. I'll put another 10 out. So I'm going to make a big block here. Okay, 
Okay, and in here, I will put that across, not that, that across. And here will be where people will generally live. So I guess I can just add people? Like, I guess just... Low density. So I'll fill this up and see what happens. Obviously I won't be filling it. Uh, my goal for this like episode is just to have a functioning city. Something that works. So I probably won't be very far. And the reason why I'm doing this kind of pattern is because... Um, uh, you can get bigger houses if you force them to be like 4x4 four four squares. Actually for now, you can just like build over people's houses in the future I think. So you can just kick them out forcefully. Which is, you know, something that the city has the power to do, I guess. So this one will be a little different. I don't think I'm going to put all of them on right away, so, uh... Yeah. Uh, I guess I can play on now. So, uh... Uh... Play. Now people should start moving in soon, right? For some reason they're not, but I'm going... Oh! The first people are moving into the town! I'll speed up a bit. Oh, wait. Wait a second. I didn't connect the power. <laughs> Rookie mistake, so uh... It just has to be in the radius here, so uh... Ah uh, yeah, I guess right here would be fine for now. Not all of them have power, so... At least they should all have power now. And right now I'll fix this road to make it, you know, work. See, I want very nice traffic through here, so... That's what I'm doing. Oh, oh, people want water. I almost forgot. Guess I need to build water, huh? Oh, that's very far away, actually. That, is that the river? That is a river. Which way is it flowing? Oh, it's flowing that way, very slowly. Uh, another tip I learned from tutorials, because I did watch a few here and there, is that you should put the sewage downstream, so because your people don't want to drink their own poop, you know? So, uh, of course, I'm just putting water pumping station, a basic one. I believe it needs power, but I'll just put wind turbine out here or whatever. One of those, and this can go way down here. Goes there, and I need to connect it with pipes, and I need to connect it to the village somehow. Eventually, just like that, we all have water. So I guess I can get out of here, go to roads, and I can look at our town needs. Why are people upset? Actually, I can cut down power even more. I think. So I'm not going to quite yet. I'm just gonna build more. Houses. Because if you see the the demand for residential right now is rather high, so uh, gotta strike while the iron's hot, huh? Yes. So right now, now I'm getting some demand for commercial, I believe. For some reason, this one here is not big enough, or just too big. Oh, it's because. Silly me. Yep, I just destroyed someone's house. <laughs> Wait a second. Stupid. Well, I messed up a bit here. Um, as you see now, the demand. So I'm probably going to put a bunch of commercial down the road there. Because I think it's far enough. I know some commercial actually creates noise pollution, but it's just noise pollution, right? Before I go any further, I'm losing a lot of money right now. I know how to fix that too. So it's, I only need 3 megawatts of power and I'm producing 17. So I guess I'll drop this to 50% right now. And how much water do I need? I need a. I, I need a lot less than I'm making. Saying that, I think I'll be fine to lower it. This micromanaging is what I guess I need to do at the beginning of the game. To make sure that uh, I actually have money. Because now I need uh, more commercial and some industry, so. Oh, I actually, uh. I actually need a lot more water. Than oh, because I don't have power over here. That's why I'm not producing any water. <laughs> so this whole time, I was not even producing water at all. Silly me. I was going to these went by it. Does that produce enough? It doesn't? Oh, there's no wind. So that purchase was just meaningless because there's no wind here. Because I'm just connecting long power lines. I'm spending a couple grand to get it here. 
Okay, now we got plenty of water. Do people still don't have water? Why not? Oh no, here comes the water. Look, now everyone's happy to have water. But I'm still losing money, which is a problem, so I probably need to expand my residential area here. Actually, I need more, uh, factory for most of it. Wait, did I actually mess up this road here? I think I did. I'll get out of this view so I can see a little better. So right now, this is Kyleopolis. It's not the best place to live. <laughs> I clearly would not want to live here. Oh, it's raining now. It's like that the demand's higher. Oh, I'm finally in the green for money. That feels good. Now I can build actually a lot more places here. I want to know how bad noise pollution is doing, but I don't think I can right now. Or maybe I can, but don't know it yet. Feels nice just watching my town build, but I need more uh, residential, so I might just build this way with it and slow down time a bit more. How long is this here? It's uh, like 30. A few moments later. I hope people like new neighbors because they're getting a lot of them. Yes, grow my town. Grow. Can't really see well because this is actually a very bad rain. Looks nice though. And now I'm in a little hamlet. Uh, all the hard work and I finally reached 420 population. Great. Actually, I think here is where I'm going to end the video on Sea Skylines. So as always, I want to thank you for watching the video. Overall, I like this game. Does it translate to YouTube very well? I don't think so. So will I be coming back? I guess we'll see. If you liked the video, why not consider leaving a like? And if you're new, subscribe if you want to subscribe. Anyway, I'll see you all in the next video. See ya!